Oh, there it is, friend. There it is. Is it there? Yeah. Yes, about. <laughs> Hello, guys. How are you doing? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all well. We're in beautiful Scotland, a place called Glencore. Me and the gang. They've never been here and it's going to be a treat. We're going to be doing two nights while camping. The first night we're going to be around this area, but first we're going to be up the last valley. It's a great walk. Then the second night we're going to be doing a five mile hike in the middle of nowhere. So stick around for that. Is everyone ready? ready? Yeah. Come, on. Come on. I'll bring us back soon. <laughs> What I want to do is quickly talk about is mental health awareness. When I first came out of the army I was diagnosed with PTSD, it stands for Post Traumatic Stress Disorder. One of the main reasons why this happened is because back in 2005 we deployed to Iraq and I was on a vehicle patrol. I was the driver of the lead vehicle and we were ambushed twice in six days. My vehicle was blown up twice and as a result of these explosions three of my colleagues were killed and a number of my colleagues had life-changing injuries. It was a terrible week, it was, it was one of the worst weeks of my life and even though it happened 18 years ago there's not a day that goes by without me thinking about them. With the mental health awareness side of it, what I tend to do is, if I'm meeting someone new, I don't care if they're black, white, little, large, and what I do is I like to treat people with respect and dignity, because I don't know what journey that they have been on through their life. So it's the old saying, don't judge a book by its cover, that's what I like to go off. I seen an interesting interview with a person called Jason Fox. If you don't know who Jason Fox is, he's a SES legend and he also suffers from PTSD and he found himself at the edge of a cliff one time in his life and luckily he didn't go through with it. But this just proves it doesn't matter how tough you are, mental illness can affect anyone. Just coming on to my last point now, if anyone out there is suffering from any kind of mental health illness, please don't suffer in silence. Just talk to your family, friends. There's a lot of charities that out, out there that are willing to help. If you don't have anyone, send me a message and I'll, I'll try and help you and point you in the right direction. It's okay, so we need to start looking after each other. Yeah. 
out the words The feelings unheard can still be just as sincere But something's not right Right guys, I'm all excited. What I've got here is my new tent. It's a Nature Hike Apollos 3. It's a three man tent and it's a three season tent. There's a lot of freeze there like in there. <laughs> but I'm all excited. I'm gonna put the details up here. <laughs> there you go. Have a look at the details and I'm gonna do an honest review and let you know what it's like. So let's do it. That's us pitched up now. There wasn't enough space for me down there, so I've got a bit more of a view up here. Just gonna have a quick look inside the tent. It took us about 15 minutes to put up, so not too bad. There's plenty of space in this porch area. Impressed with that. And loads of space at the back there. So at the moment, I'm impressed. We shall see. We're just chilling out for the evening. Oh. Just chilling out around the fire. It's nice in there. Oh, it'll be alright. Oh, look at that. What a spot this is, isn't it? Alfie, do you approve of this spot? Do you? <laughs> I think that was a yes. <laughs> So we're just going to chill out and listen to some music and sit around the fire and stuff. So I will catch you guys in the morning. Peace out for now. Sorry I'm a little bit drunk. <laughs>
morning everyone it was a bit of a windy night but got plenty of sleep that's the main thing i think they had a bit too many last night so i only had a couple because i knew i was going to be up early in the morning but look at these views i'll show you the views there's a couple of wild campers over there but look at this wow you don't get to see these views every day i better go wake them up already off you yeah <laughs> bring you back soon remember it <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we've just got to a next location. We've got a nice five mile hike. So it is a lovely area. We have lost Reese and Robbie. They haven't, uh, they've had to go home, but we've gained someone else. We've gained Dan and Jax. So Alfie's got a, a bit of a playmate. <laughs> for a mile, <laughs> so we're gonna head off now. Catch you soon. We're gonna go down there and see if anyone's at the boffy. Then we're gonna, if someone's there, we're just gonna pitch around it. Bring you back soon.
Right guys, we've just got here and unfortunately someone is already in their boffy. Uh, that's what happens if someone's already in their boffy. It's the rules. So we've had to pitch up tent not far from the boffy. But life goes on. We're still going to enjoy the rest of the day. I just wanted to take this opportunity to thank all of the subscribers and people that are leaving nice comments. It means a lot, thank you. I do appreciate it. And I just wanted to mention one more thing is I wanted to say hello to Ethan. Ethan's my 15 year old son. Uh, one day I'm going to get him out on a wild camp, but he is football crazy. So one day I will have him out and about. <laughs> Right? Put him up. Bang. Good boy. <laughs> Potato. <laughs> Potato. <laughs> Three, two, one. The hills of a life with the sound of music. <laughs> so you got me that. <laughs> Morning everyone, had a great night's sleep, did my boy, we're just going to start packing up now and heading off. Um, the views on the new tent, yeah I'm liking it, there wasn't any condensation in the morning but I think you've got to really test it when it's a windy rainy condition so I'm going to leave that uh, verdict till a bit later on but I will let you know. We're just going to start packing up camp now. We've got a long drive. We're going to—it's going to take roughly about seven hours to get back home, but we'll have thoroughly enjoyed it. Come on, come. That's us back off the mountain now. We've had a great adventure. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. If you can, if you can hit the like and subscribe button, that'll help the channel out a lot. And we're going to head off now, and we'll see you soon on the next adventure. Bye bye, bye. for now. <laughs> <laughs> Good night everyone. Oh, it's morning, I think. <gasps> GoPro, stop recording. Probably enjoyed it. So, catch you in a bit. Let's go Alfie. Oh Alfie, you scruffy.